Welcome to Quality Homes. We build indoors, so many benefits, and I'm gonna show you why. In order to build a great modular home, we need to have an excellent structure and in order to have an excellent structure, we need to be really robust in the way we build. So you'll see automated framing equipment that makes a true square, steadfast structure. And we start over here with our floor systems. There's gonna be 18 workstations, and I'll show you each workstation and how they add the value to the process till we get to the end where you'll actually see the finished product. So this here is our flooring station, and basically we're taking our lumber from a pre-cut section at the back and we're laying it out with all the joists and then we're going to bring the gantry across and we're going to glue and screw it in place. What that means to you, the homeowner, is that you're getting a really robust, squeak-free floor system. You'll notice over here, we're already laying some of the floor, flooring down before we put the walls on so we can get a nice stretch and even layout. And that again makes a high quality flooring system over a very robust flooring assembly. At the second station, we're getting ready to lay out any flooring products that are in sheet form, that would be vinyl, carpet, hardwood or laminate is done further on in the process. The floors are protected here and actually this protection will remain in place until the homeowner is ready to move in. We have many waste minimization initiatives in the plant. We have a drywall recycling program that obviously is very difficult to do on site. We have a lumber uh, minimization program. All of our cutting lists are optimized and made to reduce waste. Here we come to our electrical section and when we use our wiring, we wire our modules and they don't um, move on until the wiring is complete. Wiring will not only be for lights and receptacles, but also anything to do with media, anything to do with security, central vac, whatever wiring you need is done within the module itself. And then it's a, basically a plug and play system in order to get it connected to the electrical panel. In our fourth bay, we're going to start attaching the walls that have been uh, fabricated on a similar table to the floors. But if you take a look over here, you can see that we're actually screwing our drywall and that essentially stops all nail pops. The way the screws are actually um, screwed into the wall is the exact depth that it needs for it to have the maximum amount of adhesion. So again, a really strong process so that when we move modules down the road, pick them up with a crane, there's absolutely no torsion. We apply the poly vapor barrier at this point here and it's done by machine. So you can see there's absolutely no holes or penetrations through the vapor barrier. And while that looks very nice, what it's actually doing is lowering your heating and cooling costs because it makes the house very, very airtight. So we're going to use a mechanical heat recovery ventilator to actually move air so that the air in the house is fresh, but this is gonna uh, control the temperature, so basically lower utility costs. The walls that I mentioned are done on this table here and basically screwed in place. The window openings are routed out automatically, so a really sophisticated process in order to not only assemble wall panels, but to get them drywalled and ready to be put onto the floor system. This is a fun fact over here. You may notice that that roof truss is hinged and that's done for travel purposes. So we are limited in our heights to get under bridges and power lines, etc. We still want to have nice high nine or even 10 foot ceilings in our designs and architecture. So we hinge the roofs like that. And if you look over to the left, there's the actual assembly unhinged, standing up, but that allows us to really uh, not compromise on our architectural design while meeting the requirements of, of traveling down Ontario roads. So that's a really cool way of using engineering to help design uh, remain intact. So that roof assembly is then craned onto the walls and floors. So from this point in, we're actually dealing with a three-dimensional module that can be finished on the inside. You'll also notice that the drywall goes in first so the guys can work inside before we need to do the exterior insulation and cladding. Every workstation has tools, labor and materials to optimize the amount of time that it takes. The entire plant has to move sequentially so when a unit is finished at the end, all the other units need to move up and a new one gets started. So that means we need to balance the amount of work happening at every workstation so that nobody gets held up or gets delayed. On my right here, you can see an example of a beautiful vaulted ceiling, nice open plan design. What I have over here is a very rudimentary basic checklist that is golden in terms of policy and uh, quality control. So we're a CSA listed and certified work center. They have certified us to build to the Ontario Building Code. And this checklist has over 400 checks in terms of 
not only the result of our construction, but also the process that goes into it. So we're checking right back down to the quality of the lumber, the quality of the workmanship, and how it all fits together. And then that gets audited by CSA, and it really keeps our quality way above anything that you would have on site, just due to the inspection and the quality control process. We bring up the electrical and plumbing uh, lines from the floor system. We seal them off here so that they're completely airtight and, and watertight. And then here we're actually starting to put the wall insulation in. Today's wall and uh, ceiling insulation values are way above what they've been in the past. So again, keeping the houses really cool in the summer, warm in the winter, uh, at lower cost to the homeowner. You'll notice here that the mudding and taping of the drywall has begun. So again, interior finishing will be happening quickly. We're insulating the roof cavity with uh, an automated system that drops in from the ceiling. If we need extra exterior insulation, um, we're using this R5 one inch code board, that gives us an extra layer and that's also a very good uh, substrate for if you're having a stucco system, for example. Once we get over here, we've put the exterior sheeting on. We're using our Tyvek air barrier. This again is another layer of air control to keep temperatures constant. We do some extra things in terms of the way we finish our window openings. This foam here is very important in draft control. So, you know, nice bathroom. The walls have been insulated to keep it warm and then you have a leaky window. Not a good idea. So we foam them in place. Little extra work, little extra cost, but the savings to you, the homeowner, are immense. Over here, you can see um, the window and door systems have just been installed. They'll be trimmed out really soon. We're also going to ship all the materials that are required to finish the home with the home so that we have everything on hand and that can um, help us complete our homes to our guaranteed timeline. We're the only builder in Ontario and maybe even in Canada that offers a completion guarantee. So our HUG program, Home Buyer's Ultimate Guarantee Program, We'll offer you $250 a day for every day we miss the completion date. I'm very happy to say we hardly ever pay out any money, so homeowners can have a reliable completion date, which is so rare, if not extinct, uh, in today's custom building environment uh, in Ontario. You can see now that we're into the painting. Electrical has been advanced as well, and this now is really getting ready to start getting the final trim pieces, which will obviously make for the personalization of your home in terms of the millwork and all the fixtures and fittings that will go into the home as well. On my left here, you can see an example of flooring that's already installed and that will be um, stitched and finished and seamed on site. We uh, uh, ceramic and tile our showers in the plant. All the plumbing's been pre-inspected, pressure tested, uh, signed off, so that when it gets to site, it's a really simple hookup process. Typically our homes, once they get to site, have a four to eight week period to get all the final finishing done and then ready for moving after that, depending on the size and the scope of the home. So kitchen's been installed, ready to go, basically just uh, waiting for the homeowner's appliances. We have so many custom options to choose from, both in our decor and our finishes. Our kitchen company offers too many options to mention, so you can personalize your cabinetry exactly how you want it. To keep our quality of uh, trim and finishes very consistent, we do all of our own painting. This is our painting area, and essentially that gives us consistency in both color and quality, and that's done right here, just in time, so that every single piece of trim is new and fresh and basically produced for every single house that we build as needed. We also have a stain shop where we will stain uh, stairs and all of our wood profiles as well. So, you know, some really good examples of uh, materials stored, dry, neat, basically keeping them on hand for as soon as they're ready. The quality of the lumber we use is way above what a typical site builder would use and that helps us keep things straight and true. Coming down here, we're starting to get into the exterior finishing touches. If you select a vinyl siding and we use Gentech, we'll do that here in the plant. If you're choosing brick, stone, wood siding, uh, that will be done on site once the home is on its foundation. So while we're building here, we're probably installing foundations and getting the sites ready so that everything's happening simultaneously. We use a shrink wrap system and this is to protect the homes as they go out to site or if they're in the yard for a little while before they do. And this is an excellent way of keeping them dry, uh, temperature controlled so that there's absolutely no quality issues in terms of the time it takes to finish the home and to get it to site. You know, we're very proud of the products we build and there are no shortcuts. Basically, we do it right the first time and uh, that allows us to do it 
easier, faster and smarter than our stick-built competitors.